Hi everybody. Hi. Welcome back to my channel after all this time. Coco Femme here. Okay. Um, I'm a little rusty. Um, I'm looking down making sure everything's in focus, but I'm a little rusty being back on camera, but I knew I wanted to throw on a quick um, everyday face is what I call it. Um, and kind of say hey to you guys because I have not been on here in like forever. For those of you who do not know, I did undergo weight loss surgery. I Please see previous videos. I will link it below. And I think the last time I came on and talked to you guys, your girl was feeling some type of way about her overall self. So I utilized the resource that I had via my insurance company. And I decided to have the gastric sleeve, okay? So thank you guys for all the positivity, all of the beautiful comments um, that you guys have shown because I have been on social media, just not YouTube, but I have, I still, if you're following me on my Facebook um, page, either Coco Femme or my government, Kibia Bellamy, yeah, I'm there as well. So I've been posting a little bit as well as on Instagram. I'm new to Periscope and I don't know how to Snapchat, but I'm gonna work on that. But um, yeah, guys, I, I'm happy. I'm, I'm quite happy with the weight loss so far. Um, you could have asked me a long time ago, was I gonna be a poster child for the gastric sleeve? And I would have said, oh, hell to the no. But as the months go on and I'm, I'm approaching my, is this the fourth month? I'm approaching my fifth month. After, actually, I'm in the fifth month. February 15th will be five months. And I am 87 pounds lighter. Like, give it up for that. Um, I posted a little while ago on IG that I was 77 pounds. But after I put in today's weight loss, I'm currently, I am six foot tall. I started this journey at 360 pounds. My surgery weight was 337 and today's weight is 250 pounds. I still have, mm, honestly, I would be happy at 225 and my height, but the way Slavisha is set up, and Slavisha is a name that I have conveniently named my sleeve, honey. The way she's set up, I can't stop her. Okay, so I'm quite happy. Even if I did not lose another pound, I am so extremely happy with myself all over again. Um, falling back in love with shopping for clothes, shopping for bras and panties that actually match. Um, last time I came on and shared, shared with you guys whether or not I should create a new channel and do update videos and I kind of stayed away from that because the feedback was kind of half and half and I didn't want to lose my audience so I just chose to just occasionally put it out there on um, Instagram or my Facebook um, pages or something like that so that's kind of why I have not been back on to make a video but then I thought about it the people want updates I could be reaching somebody in the same situation that is possibly looking to have the surgery and I'm an open book if you have any questions leave them below um, send me um, DMs on Instagram or just if you comment under one of my pictures just um, send me DMs because it's a community and within that community we are helping one another keep in mind that what works for me may not work for you but at the same time it is still a weight loss struggle so many people think that you choose to have weight loss surgery and it's the easy way out. And I said I wasn't going to address this on a video, but I'm going to go there right now because I chose what was best for Kibia, for Coco, okay? May not be your cup of tea, but that's on you. If you want to continuously struggle with a food battle and not feel good about yourself and overeat to the point to where you have diabetes, hypertension, and all these comorbidities, I just didn't want that for myself anymore. So I sought out a resource and I put a plan into action and it works for me. It is working for me. So if this is the route that you choose somewhere down the line, don't let any, anybody tell you it's the easy way out because we all know better. Weight loss is an everyday struggle. I still struggle. Um, I'm gonna just get off my soapbox with that because uh, this will end up being a whole different type of video and I really don't want it to be that so I'm not even gonna go there with that but 
Um, I'm still getting in my protein and with my surgery I have to get in like it's recommended 70 grams of protein a day and pretty much that's what I focus on. I focus on high protein, low fat, low carbs. It, it really depends on what the food item is but typically when I first the first few months I was losing 25 pounds a month. The weight loss has slowed down till about 10 to 13 pounds a month but again if you think about sensible weight loss and two pounds a week I'm still ahead of the game and I'm still doing very well I'm still watching my intake I still struggle with drinking water I don't even like water plain water by itself and the reason I don't is because I can't gulp it like I used to I, you still have to sip at least I still have to sip I can take in a lot more fluids but I have to sip them and I don't like water like that. I just don't. So I still use Crystal Light. I still use Sugar Free Kool Aid. Fruit Punch is the best. Shout out to the Fruit Punch. But, anyways, um, yeah, that's just a few other things. I really don't know what else to say. I'd love to do more monthly check-in type of videos so I'll work on doing those and if and and by that time I'll have a good enough questions that you guys may have that I can answer for you guys so feel free to ask away um what else remember that quote that I talked about in that very very sad video that brought me to tears a few months back when I initially talked about my thought process of even having this done well that quote not only fits but it is too big shout out for the non-scale victories around this mug because those are the things that make me the happiest the fact that I can zip that coat this year I can close it up it's actually keeping me warm and I don't have to have on all these layers underneath my leather coat but next year I'm not gonna be able to wear that coat hell I really can get rid of it right now but it's just sentimental to me because I knew that a year earlier I wasn't able to, to zip that coat up so um, another non-scale victory is I, I went clothes shopping with a few of my girlfriends from work and it was just refreshing to actually be able to pull something off the shelf and off the rack and, and be able to actually ask for your size and it's not the biggest size in the store. So I'm happy about that and my best non-scale victory to date would probably be the fact that I can cross my legs cross them and keep them crossed without feeling like my circulation's cutting off. So it's just, it's the little things that keep us motivated. Um, I'm here to motivate you in any way that I possibly can. And believe me, if you are in this situation and you are doubting yourself, I just encourage you to look into it. The first step I did was I checked with my insurance. I did. I had to check with my insurance to make sure that it was even covered. That's step number one. For me um, after you find out the insurance covers it you need to talk to your insurance company to find out what are their stipulations everyone's insurance plan is different so if I tell you that I'm Blue Cross Blue Shield Federal yours may not be the same for me I had a certain I had certain things that I had to accomplish in order to even get approved for the surgery. So I knew that going in that I would have to do three months of nutritional appointments, lose a little bit of weight, even though they don't say that, but I know they was looking for me to do that. Anywho, lose a little bit of weight, um, having to have uh, EKGs, EGDs, all of these other things that the insurance companies might call for is the reason um, that I would say look into your insurance company first before you even start calling around before you even start bouncing the idea off of anything then and only then should you research who you want to go to word of mouth if you're here in the Atlanta area I have no problems telling you I went to Dr. Titus Duncan and he treated me very well now his office that's a whole nother video but I travel very far to go to his office because I'm on the opposite end of town the office needed a little bit of help I thought because it was it was several conflicts that I had in the whole process but the overall care that dr. Titus Duncan did for me was amazing right now I'm on it every few months or every three months they're gonna follow me every three months until I'm um, a year out so I go back 
um, coming up soon. I forgot when the appointment is, but coming up soon. But I have no problems with telling you that I went to Peachtree Bariatrics and Surgical or Surgical and Bariatrics, however you want to say it. But I'll leave that information down below if you're in this area and you're seeking to have this done with someone who was amazing at what he does. Yeah, I know this video is random. Like I said, I'm just very, very nervous with being back on screen. I, I thought that being on screen would be second nature, but it's, it's nerve wracking. You know, you haven't been on in a while. People haven't seen you. And guess what, y'all? Your girl got a neck. Y'all see that? Your girl got a neck. Girl, she got neck. And I have a new hair color. So you can tell somebody's feeling good about their appearance when they change up certain things. So I've always been a lover of makeup, as you guys know. But um, the hair, I've never been a redhead. I've never been a redhead now. I'm a redhead now. I'm a redhead now. I'm a redhead now. So I'm loving my hair color. It's very bright, but I love it. Shout out to my stylist, loctician stylist April B, if you're in the Atlanta area. But anywho, again, you guys, please leave me any questions below. I will do my darndest as I set out this new year. This is my first video of the year. And, and I will try to answer all of your comments and questions and stuff like that. I don't know why this thing is flashing. Maybe because my time card is full. So I'm going to wrap it up. It was good seeing you guys. And I'll see you on social media. Follow me. I'm on Snapchat, but I don't know how to snap. Um, IG, Facebook. I'll see you guys later. Bye.